name is Rachel and welcome to my reading day. I decided to make a little vlog today because my parents are away and I'm on my own and I've not been out the last two days because I've had full writing days which have gone amazing. But now we're on the third day and I need to do some writing but I don't need to do it till the evening. I need to have some interaction but also I don't want to go and do anything because <laughs> I'm lazy and I'm enjoying my week off. So because I work at school, I get the October half-term holidays and I've just been like, I just want to be on my own. I just want to, huh, I just want to not talk to people and it's been lovely. It's so nice not talking to people. So yeah, I am having a chill reading day today and I decided that I can have a little bit of interaction by just talking to a vlog and that'll be nice. It'll ease me back into it because I have a date tomorrow and I feel like I need to be able to talk to people again but right now no I don't want to talk to anyone so I need to like ease myself into it which is what this is. I have decided to have a little bit of a reading day because I feel like I've not had a proper reading day for ages. This is something that I used to do a lot in Switzerland because on Sundays everything is shut in Switzerland so I would usually just spend my Sundays reading and it was lovely. I enjoyed it so much. And since I've been working at school, it's really weird because I feel like I read a lot, but then I don't read at the same time because I will not read for a consecutive number of days and then I will pick up a book and read it in like a day. That's nice and I have still been reading stuff and I have been enjoying what I'm reading, but I kind of just want like a full long period of reading some books. So that's what I'm doing today. So I found a chill hits playlist on Spotify that I am so happy about because I didn't make it, Spotify made it, which I hardly ever use playlists that anyone else has made because I like making my own. But this one is full of King Princess and Lana Del Rey, which makes me extremely happy because I love both of those things. So I've got that at the ready. I've got a peppermint tea, very happy about that. I have no milk left, so I can't have any more normal tea, so having to have peppermint tea but I do love peppermint tea so it's fine. Let's talk about the books I'm going to read today. The first one is the book I'm currently reading which is The Burning by Laura Bates. I am 91 pages into this and I'm quite enjoying it. I will say her writing is a bit clunky. I can tell she's not wrote fiction before if you get my drift but at the same time I am really enjoying it and I'm enjoying the like historical aspects of it because there's like a research project going on about something that happened hundreds and hundreds of years ago. I don't want to go too much into it because I don't want to spoil it for anyone but like that's just starting to come up in the story and I'm like oh I like this. I like that this is a part of it. I didn't realise it was. So enjoying this one. Gonna definitely read some more of that. Then I have The Mayor of Casterbridge by Thomas Hardy. I am 49 pages into this and I'm loving it so far. I knew I would because I love Thomas Hardy just so so much. So I do want to read a little bit more of this today even if I only read another chapter or two that's fine. I've been feeling extremely autumn at the minute. I know it doesn't look like it because I'm like penguin blanket, fucking Christmas jumper. This is even like a Christmas Bambi mug like I need to stop because it's Halloween and I am feeling very Halloween-y. I watched The Cops Bride last night which was obviously amazing. I rewatched Over the Garden Wall again. Autumn vibes to the max. So I am feeling autumn-y even though I'm wearing all Christmas shit. So I went around my shelves and was like I need some books that are like autumn-y books. By that I meant witches. I want some fucking witch shit. So I picked up a few books off my shelf. The first thing I picked up is Stephen King's The Outsider. I just really want to read a Stephen King. I feel like I've not read a Stephen King for ages. The last one I read was probably it and I read it like the first year I was in Switzerland. Like I read it before the first Ick film came out so that's like that's not recent and I love Stephen King. Like I feel like I don't mention Stephen King enough on this channel for how much I love him. He's actually one of the writers that I've read the most books from. In terms of his catalogue, that's not a lot. I don't even think it's 10% but I've read like eight of his books and for me like in terms of other writers like I've not read eight books from a lot of authors. <laughs> so it like I do have like a strong love for Stephen King and I've not read one for a while so this is one that I've got on my shelf that I'm like I've been dying to read this because this is about someone who 
all of his DNA is found at the scene of a crime and so everyone thinks it's him but at the same time he didn't do it so it's like what the fuck that's the basic premise of this and I'm like I'm feeling that I think it sounds good I also have his new book The Institute but I want to read this one because I've been wanting to read this one for a while don't know how spooky that's feeling though I feel like that could be like a November December kind of read whereas the other ones are all ones that i'm like these are very halloweeny and then i have some other ones which i actually think like i'm gonna read at least one of these today so they're both about witches so one is witch light and one is the salem witch society and they both sound like creepy witchy read so this one says salem new england many dark nights ago the most famous witch hunt in history is about to begin years later a young woman is found savagely murdered her body arranged in the death pose of a witch someone or something is reviving the terror of the notorious salem witch hunts and only one man a brilliant eccentric loner with a dazzling mind and fascination with witchcraft can keep the evils of the past at bay now that sounds like a perfect halloween read it sounds creepy as fuck and I love it. And then there's this one, which is historical fiction. So this one says, 1692, Corag, a wild young girl living in the mountains of Scotland, has been imprisoned as a witch. Terrified in a cold, filthy cell, she awaits her fate of death by burning until she is visited by Charles Leslie, an Irishman, hungry to question her. For Corag knows more than it seems. She was witness to the bloody and brutal massacre of Glencoe. Yay, this one sounds better, to be fair. Okay, so not this one. Definitely these two. I feel like I want to dip into these so for my little reading day we have the outsider by stephen king the salem witch society by kn shields the mayor of casterbridge by thomas hardy the burning by laura bates and i think i'm gonna start with the burning by laura bates because i'm already reading this so i want to like settled in my reading day before i start like branching out into new books so yeah we're gonna get started at some point i need to get dressed and go shopping because there's no food left in my house. Yeah, other than that, it's full reading day. I will probably catch up with you at some point to let you know how it's going. So I've been reading for, I don't know how long it's been. It's been an ordeal. I've been reading The Burning. Um, I think I've read about 80 pages of this. It's, it's a hard read, it's a difficult one. It is very, very similar to I actually have wait I'll just grab it so it's actually very very similar to asking for it by Louise O'Neill in the way that it basically uses like social media and online platforms to attack women and it's a hard read I feel like I'm glad things like this are becoming more of a thing because it is more common now don't want to say I'm enjoying this but I am reading it quickly that's how I'll put it and yeah I do want to continue reading this actually I'm really like this is the book I want to read so I have got dressed because it was getting to be difficult. So I'm gonna take my trip to the shop now because it looks quite nice outside, it's quite sunny. Nip to the shop, go and get whatever food I needed because I've been running out and then I will probably finish it. I mean, my copy's like 330 pages and I'm on page 177 now. So there's a chance I might actually finish this today, uh, but we'll see we'll see i'm gonna go also there's all like forest by my house and it's feeling hella autumnal right now and i love it how cute does autumn look today okay so i have been to shop i have got myself a little pizza i also bought some more lemon because ice lemon water is like my life at the minute and I didn't have any lemon so now we're good i'm gonna watch some youtube while i eat my pizza because i've been finding some amazing channels recently so the first one that i've been absolutely loving is amy from the channel Nonfiction feminist i'm really glad that i found her channel before Nonfiction november actually so she did a big tbr video for Nonfiction november the other day where she was like trying the chapter and then blah 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 and yeah it was really really good so i will link that in the comments down below and the other channel i've just found I haven't watched any of her channel yet, but I know that I'm gonna be obsessed with it. Ren on the Road. She has quite a lot of subscribers actually. I don't know why I'm acting like she's a new person. <laughs> she's not new to the community, just new to me. But I found her channel because it got recommended because it was queer stuff and will of a queer. And the first two videos I saw were new fave queer books and visiting gays the word female female book haul, which I was like, that, 
that sounds like my jam. And then I scrolled down and found that she made like 10 videos or something throughout Pride Month. And there's loads on here. There's bisexual book recommendations, important themes in LGBTQ plus literature, what happens after Pride Month, which I think sounds interesting, could be a good discussion. Just some like great stuff. And I've not watched any. But I'm going to watch them now and I'm really excited for it and I can guarantee that I will have linked her channel in the description box below because I will enjoy it because gay is in it. Gotta love a gay. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to eat my pizza and I'm going to watch some YouTube and that's going to cheer me up because I have needed the break to be fair. I feel a lot happier. I was like I am a product of this society and I hate it. So having a bit of space is nice. It's good. Sometimes we need space, you know? It's fine. So yeah, I'm gonna do that and then I will check in with you at some point when I have started reading again. Okay, hello, I'm back again. I don't actually know if I'm very well in frame to be honest, but I'm also comfy and not gonna mess with the camera again. So, hi. I'm on page 207 now and just, ugh. It's so, so like asking for it by Louise O'Neill. So that's been really, really interesting. And it's really nice because me and Lucy from Books and Brushes have been reading it together, but we've both been like texting back and forth today. It's been nice because I can actually talk to someone as I'm reading it, which I like. Still reading that one. Feeling like I need to give something else a shot though as well or else like what even is this? What is this? What is this reading day? And then I'd really like to read the first chapter. Actually not, no, he doesn't do like chapters, does he? He does them one, two things and they're really small. So maybe like a, the first few chapters of this. Uh, his chapters are so weird. Yeah, see, this is already chapter one and chapter two on page one. So yeah, I might just try and read like a few pages of this and see how I get on with it. And then I do want to go back to the burning because I'm feeling like I might try and finish the burning tonight. So that's how I'm doing. I've got some candles going. This is Oriental Spice. It's like cinnamon, and like star anise, those kind of smells. And in this one, I have no idea what this is, but I got it from TK Maxx. And all it says is the price on it, which I can't get off. And it doesn't have anything on the bottom. It didn't have anything on the top about what the actual smell of it is. So I can't tell you, but it's like autumn-y basically it smells like leaves <laughs> um, but it's gorgeous so i've got that i've got some more mint tea we've got a different mug now still a christmas mug because apparently i've got a brand today so i know everyone's watching this thinking rachel's mug game collection is on point and i agree i know and then i've got some dakitos and some more lemon water and yeah, I'm just gonna be chilling and reading. It's quite nice because no one's here. The most annoying thing about my family is that my mum is always in this room watching shit. She's one of those people who watches anything and everything. So quiz shows, films that are on like movies 24 and stuff like that. Those just like absolute trash. I can't stand it. So I never come in this room, but this room is the warmest room in the house. It has the comfiest chairs. <laughs> And it's just like, it's a nice room to sit in. So it's nice that they've gone away on holiday because I've been quite enjoying just chilling in this room. So yeah, I'm having a little reading night in here tonight. I've brought this duvet down. This isn't, I've just noticed that I'm on fire. This isn't the duvet from my bed. This is like a single duvet that I have extra for my bed because it's too cold upstairs. And that's why I'm down here. So yeah, I'm gonna get reading and stop chatting and then I will update you when I've read a little bit more. I'm quite enjoying this, so it's good because I think Cozy Reading Night's coming up and I'm probably gonna do the same again. So that'll be nice. I'll see you then. Okay, so it is currently five to nine. And I'm just, I'm fuming. I'm absolutely fuming. So I needed a break. I've been reading more of The Burning. <laughs> I did actually read some of The Outsider. I've read like the first three. I mean, in Stephen King books, they're really short. So the first three chapters is like 11 pages, but I've read those. You know, there's a lot going on. There's a good premise. I'm liking it. That'll be something I read. But I was like, I wanted to get back to this. I wanted to find out more about Anna's story. And the thing that's so great about this book is that it is relentless. It is absolutely relentless in the way that when I read asking for it, it's really in your face, like this is what's happened and it's, it details everything. And it's, it's hard to read because it's so difficult 
This one, I feel like it doesn't list everything. It's more about the people around her and how the way they're behaving is abominable and it's fucking, oh, the word for this book is just relentless. It's just every single person she talks to, every way she turns, every time you think, okay, we're gonna get somewhere. Like a teacher talks to her, a man from a church talks to her, a friend talks to her. Every time you think, okay, we're gonna get somewhere here. And then they make a comment like, she her phone was broken and her mum's just given her a new phone and on the top of it on a post-it it just said same number love you and it's just like it's the same number she's gonna get the same message it's just absolutely relentless and i'm just oh, it's exhausting it's absolutely exhausting i love books like this and i think it's really important because the way it makes you so aggravated is the way that like change is done to make people really think about something and really face up to like the shitty situations that happen and the horrible things that people can do. That depth of thought, that reaction is the thing that makes people change and it makes people passionate about change and that's a great thing. But Jesus Christ, when you're reading it, <laughs> it's fucking hard. So yeah, I'm on page 256 at the moment and yeah i'm thinking i'm just gonna keep reading this and just finish this tonight because i may as well it's the one that i want to read it's the one that i want to finish so i'm just gonna keep plodding through with this so this reading vlog is really rachel reads the burning <laughs> um, not rachel has a reading day it's just this book specifically but yeah i'm really loving this one of the things i'm loving the most she's doing this history project about a woman who was a convicted witch in like the 1600s and the book constantly kind of has her story coming into it and matching them together and she's going through a really similar thing where she's being ousted by society the way that that's tied into this story is really well done i think the reason that that doesn't really get mentioned because i never heard any of the witch stuff mentioned and it's not on the blurb it's not anywhere and i think it's to do with you could perceive it well i don't know because i'm not at the end you could perceive it as having a slight magical realism kind of element to it and i think that they don't want to go down that road for selling this book because i don't think it'd be a good marketing strategy for it because it's not really a magical realism type of book if that makes sense so i think that's why it's not really been mentioned but i really love that it's there so if you like that kind of thing it's great for that it's got some witchy vibes which is really great and everything else is not great and it makes me want to die so yeah that's what we're doing that's our reading i thought we'd do a quick update because i was so angry that i needed to vent venting makes you feel better but i don't feel better because i know this is still happening so yeah gonna get back to it now ow oh my god so i've just bashed my knee really hard on the corner of that coffee table and i want to die really hurt so oh the book is complete it's finished feelings so i really like this book i think this is a really good book i think this is a good amalgamation of the non-fiction i've read by laura bates as well i've not read misogynation which is her newest one but i've read everyday sexism and i've read girl up and i think some of the things that people talk about in everyday sexism some of the things that people have suffered on there i think this book has definitely taken inspiration from it because like it is fiction <laughs> Well, this isn't fiction in terms of like loads of people go through things like this you know there's things like photos being taken without someone's consent being put online things like revenge porn revenge porn is a huge 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 thing at the moment and i was watching a video because i watch a lot of lesbian youtubers and bria and chrissy i don't know if you would have heard of them i'll try and link down below because there is a video with them and i can't remember who it's by but they had to i think they came to the uk to actually prosecute the person who put the revenge porn online because their own country wouldn't prosecute i can't remember the detail i'm gonna put that video down below because i feel like i'm i'm butchering whatever that story is but like revenge porn is a huge thing and that was like the first proper prosecution 
of a story like that. And a lot of it is probably to do with the fact that they are very famous people. She is a very famous person. She has a lot of subscribers. They have a lot of followers online. And that kind of momentum is probably the reason that that court case even got through and got taken seriously. You know, it's a huge thing that hasn't really been dealt with properly. So I thought it was really cool that that was dealt with. And the way that she talks about social media in general, like my main review word <laughs> for this book would be relentless. And it is that relentless thing of yes people know about facebook facebook is a thing but it's like she goes on facebook she goes on snapchat then it's on these other websites then it's on porn websites then it's absolutely everywhere it's coming through on her phone 24 7 notes are getting passed to her things people say in the hallways it's absolute like every single way she turns is somebody like degrading her bullying her and all that sort of stuff and that's the thing i think is really powerful about this book it really gets across like the relentless nature of that kind of um abuse and so i really like this i think it's a phenomenal book i'm not really going to rate it in terms of stars because i think it's just a really good book and i just i think it's an important one and it'd be cool for people to read like there were some slight issues with it where like at the beginning i think the writing's a bit clunky but that definitely goes away towards the end and i kind of didn't care because i found the story pulled me in and was such a good story that it didn't really matter if it was clunky so i don't really want to rate this because i don't know what i would give it but would highly recommend i really enjoyed it in a no i did enjoy it like i feel like i'm not allowed to say i enjoyed it because it's about such a serious topic but you know what i did like the ending of this book is done very very well and even the people who don't react in the best way they correct the way that they behave and also admit that they should have behaved that way earlier like it's it's really good in that way so i really i'm glad that i read this book so my reading day has gone i don't know if it's gone well or not i mean i've read a hell of a lot of this book i'd read like 90 something pages this morning and it's 330 pages so i've read like a good like 200 and some i'm sure of maths um so i've read a lot of that i did start the outsider but i am feeling like i'm probably not going to read any more today i'm probably going to get in bed watch some booktube and just yeah chill get ready to go to sleep because got a busy day tomorrow and yeah I'm feeling like reading another book isn't what I want to do right now I just want to sit and let that book marinate in my head I don't want to pick something else straight up is how I'm feeling that is my little vlog I'm probably going to call this just a vlog of me reading this book specifically now because basically read nothing else uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have read The Burning, please let me know how you found it down below. I would be very interested to talk about it. Or if you've read any of Laura Bates' other books and non-fiction, also cool to talk about those because I have read most of those. I think it is just misogynation that I've not read. But yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye!